Good morning, Henry family. Welcome to Nebraska Deer Camp 2019. Got my good buddy Craig Gilkey over here. He is uh, scrambling around looking for something important, I'm sure. Oh, his deer tag, that is pretty important. <laughs> it is opening morning of rifle season here in Nebraska. We are in western Nebraska on a beautiful farm out here. And uh, Craig back here is up to bat first. We've got the 308 Long Ranger right over here. And uh, hopefully he can kill a big buck this morning. He's been out here for a few days, kind of scouting and looking around. Seen several really good deer. I just got here last night. Uh, what we're gonna do this morning is he's gonna be up to bat first. Uh, we're gonna take the gun. If he sees a deer that he really wants to shoot, um, he's gonna take it. But if a mature management deer or something like that comes up and he doesn't want to shoot, um, I'm not gonna be picky. So uh, I'll probably take the gun from him and put him down. But uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we will uh, see you as soon as the sun starts coming up. Or you're just gonna sit on the ground somewhere today where we can see the river and things like that. So it should be fun. You ready, Craig? Bet. You bet. That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> like I said, we come out here to the Alpha Alpha and Craig goes, get down, get down. And there's a buck locked with a doe out in the middle of this Alpha Alpha field. And uh, that doe is pretty smart because he actually fell asleep. He put his head clear to the ground, fell asleep. And when he did that, she stood up <laughs> and got out of here. He woke up and freaked out. I filmed him there for a second running around. He's grunting, smelling the ground. But he came over here, but we decided he was probably just a little too young. Um, definitely for this area. There's there's a lot of big mature deer here, so we elected not to put him on the ground. But if we wanted him, we could have killed him for sure. <laughs>
we just had one heck of a rodeo. They're still standing across the river from here. I hit the horns together and you just come running in right here. I just know that there's bigger deer out here. We have pictures of them. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if I messed up or not. But I still got a couple days left, so hopefully we can find one with just a little bit bigger headgear. Jeremy is the guy who came up with Big and Jay Deer Trap. Been good friends for a while. He always comes to Kansas and hunts with me. And this year, he got out here to Western Nebraska with me. He's got the Henry Long Ranger 308 in his hands tonight. And we're hoping we get a deer close because I don't think we're making too many Long Ranger shots in 40 mile an hour wind. This interview might not even work. You might not be able to hear anything I'm saying. We're gonna see what happens though. Wish us luck. Maybe tonight's the night.
fun little city here. I rattled a couple times. Yeah, I don't know, three or four bucks come in, some does. Real pretty young ten pointer man. He was all swelled up, looking for love. But I think we're gonna slip over to the river and move farther to the east and see what we can find. Sit down and rattle again. Get into another group of deer. These deer are so unpressured, they just come to the horns like crazy, so Whew, hopefully we can get her done. Wish us luck. in range when he was dead or dead. Unfortunately, he was on the neighbor's ground. All he had to do was cross the river. We were walking, we haven't made it 60 yards from where we were sitting, looked up on the river. And he was walking the bank coming our way. And I hit the horns together and here he come. <sighs> That's a huge bummer. That's a kick to the teeth. <laughs> He got our wind right over here and turned around and went back the other way. He just went too far to the left. He needed to cross right here in front of us. Unreal. Rolling. Well, unbelievable morning so far. We quite ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, we rattled up. Cody rattled up a stud mature 5x5 five five or 5x4 five and he, oh I mean he came halfway across the river off of this neighboring island and turned around I think he got our wind I mean earlier this morning we set up in a beautiful three I think he's three year old 10 uh, dog to doe right up in our lap I mean there's deer running everywhere but it just gets thicker we we looked on onyx maps and it's just it's thick as can be there's no more pockets so we're just talking I think we're just gonna head back to uh, where we initially set up and probably set out the afternoon. Yeah, I think know, so. Set the afternoon out there and uh, maybe when it gets a little cooler in the afternoon, maybe start doing a little rattling. And, and, uh, but there's no sense in going all the way back to the cabin. So head back down the slough and 
don't know. This place is on fire, man. It's unbelievable. I want to do the old follow-up, just I mean, they're still running. Oh man. That was amazing. It's a big old, hey, actually had a little crab claw making a 10. But that's like a 300 pound buck. That's a giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude. We got him with Hank. Hank the Henry 308. Henry, Hank the Henry 308. <laughs> Man, I, I just, we had kind of a questionable wind, and I'm like, man, this 308 will go right, do the job right there on him. So I, I just put, I just, he was a I am, I am right side of his brisket, yeah. and he's, and he was, and he was right there at that angle. He wasn't straight on, he was like that. That so, big old bolt, man. Yeah, he done. As long as it hit him in the cavity, he's dead. Yeah, I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. That's freaking crazy, man. Wow, what a big framey deer. Thank you so much. It's <laughs> holy oh, cow, dude. He looked huge in the camera. Congrats. Holy cow. Holy cow. We gotta go find him.
and Jeremy Buck. Here we go. I got the Hank 308. Yeah, so, so Jeremy's nicknamed the Long Ranger 308 Hank. Hank the 308. That's his name. That's sweet gun, dude. I love his gun. <laughs> Hey, right here. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Way you to rattle him, man. That was awesome. Thank you for killing one. <laughs> oh. Right there he lays. <laughs> That's a mature buck right there. Oh my gosh, he's hanging. Holy cow. Holy cow. That's an old deer. What do you think about that? I love him. <laughs> Holy smoke. Right for that. Oh. <laughs> Look at that guy. Dude, that deer is beautiful. Holy cow. Congratulations, man. Thank you, man. So grateful to everybody involved that knows who you are. Thank you so much. Cody, thank you. This You're welcome, is an buddy. absolute. Just a look man at him up here. Holy cow. Look at that. Like I don't even know <laughs> where to begin on the maturity of that deer. So Jeremy and I here, you guys don't know this, but this is our 10th, 10th year. We actually figured out when we were sitting over here, it's yep. our 10th year hunting together. I met Jeremy 10 years ago, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's just, it's been a fun ride killed a lot of animals together and uh, I'm really glad that I could be here. Um, Jeremy said he thinks this might be the second biggest deer he's ever killed in Nebraska. Truly. I so, mean it's a stud man. It's a beautiful beautiful buck. That's I can't be happier for him. Animal. Well guys wow. thank you so much for watching this episode of Hunt with a Henry. We definitely enjoyed bringing this one to you. Oh for sure. <laughs> what a gun. We've got one more one more uh, day out here. I'm going to try to kill one tomorrow, maybe even tonight, and uh, we're going to keep after it. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. God bless, and remember, it's not made in America. It's not going to be made at all. That's right. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode.